here with Washington State women's basketball head coach Cami Etheridge. Coach, your team picks up a 63-56 win over Oregon State here in Corvallis. Your team picks up back-to-back -back wins here in Corvallis for the first time since the 1974-75, 75-76 seasons. Just opening comments on just this historic win here at Gill. I love that. Well, I think there was an alumni at the game tonight, so it's it's great to hear stories like that. And again, first times in forever that we've done something for as a program. Um, you know, I have so much respect for Scott and Oregon State and how good they've been for so long and how good they will be. Um, they're, uh, they're, they're a program that we aspire to be like. Um, what they're doing with their fan base and the excitement that they have in this gym is amazing. So uh, it feels good to beat a quality opponent, a dangerous opponent, uh, um, and, and to see our team grow from the la even the last time we played. Our defensive effort just continued on from what it was against UW. Uh, our rebounding is getting better. And then not turning the ball over today was just amazing. Six turnovers for the day. And uh, again, spread out offense, a lot of people stepping up and being ready to play when their number was called. Mm -hmm. Mention, uh, speaking of spreading out the offense, you had four players in double figures, uh, led by Tara Wallach with 17 points. Uh, Charlize Sledger Walker also flirted with a triple double. And then you also got big contribu uh, contributions from Bella and Johanna. How big is it just to have four double digit players like that and just moving forward the rest of the season? Well, I keep saying that. I say that every, every time someone asks. I, I just think good teams have four players in double figures. We know what Charlize can do. She can put up 20, 30, 40 sometimes on any given night. Um, but to get that consistent performance from Tara, I mean, welcome to big time with Tara. Like she's that good. Uh, now we need to start saying that that's the expectation we have and you got to show up and be that every night. But she is that good and she's getting better. Her three point shots getting better. Her ability to score with her back to the basket's getting better. Love seeing Yo get her stroke back a little bit. I think that's a big confidence boost for her. Obviously, Bella was a little bit up and down on some of her shot selection, but you can tell. So her her presence is big for us on the, both ends of the floor. And so to have that many people in double figures. But on top of that, I just love the minutes that we got from Jess and Emma and Grace was great. And even Kira got in some a few minutes, really had no, could have felt, felt great going to our bench and putting people in in big time situations. Defense, you talk about the defense and how it's getting better each and every game. A uh, prime example of that is they only had one double-digit score, and you held their all-conference guard, Talia Funnelhoff, into five points. What did, what did you guys key in on her that really disrupted her flow tonight and really kind of made things difficult for her? Well, I don't want to give away our scout completely, but, um, you know, we have big, long wings. I think Tara was matched up with her a little bit, and, and, and she – She's, she's hard to get shots off against. I thought we had a great scout. Lori Kane did that scout, so she, did, she didn't get the cheer tonight. So I need to give her credit for that. Uh, we were really locked into what they were doing. Talia is an amazing player. Um, seen her a lot, so we know what she's capable of. She can't, she's streaky, so she gets hot, so you can't let her get going like that. Uh, but really across the board, I thought Charlize was amazing in how she helped guard the entire team. I thought our bigs were great on their bigs. I mean, it's a hard team to guard and to hold them, you know, under 60 is, is a great night for us. Final question, how big is this win and how big of a momentum boost is this going into Eugene and facing the Ducks at the mat on Sunday? Well, anytime you get a road win, it's just huge. I mean, and then to, to beat Oregon State, which is, is another stepping stone. Like they're really, you know, a national power. They have some of the top recruits in the country. They get some of the top recruits in the country. So I love walking in here and being able to win a road game anywhere. Uh, so we're not picky on wins. We gotta we gotta find some wins. We lost two at home. So we gotta find some wins on the road. And uh, obviously tonight was the first step. And now the hard part begins. We gotta we gotta regroup and, and be ready to face a, a top team on Sunday. All right, Coach, we appreciate your time. Congratulations on the win. We'll talk to you on Sunday after the game against the Ducks. Thanks. Go, Go Cougs. Cougs.